Hi, I'm Christine Weber. I live in North Gilpin County, and I'm the poetry editor and copy editor at Sapiens Magazine. You can find us online at sapiens.org. And I'm here to share a few poems, and the first one for um, National Poetry Month. The first one is called Free, and you can find it online if you want to read it as well. It's published in the Wild Roof Journal in the November issue. And I just want to mention quickly, it's a haibun poem, which is a Japanese style where you write some, a paragraph and then a short poem, sometimes a haiku and then another paragraph and a short poem. And they kind of play off each other and build, so. This is called Three, in celebration of spring here. Sage stem, arrow flight of the wren, warbler feather perched crevice of limb, sun eye, desert sand quick underfoot along Colorado River, tender skin flushing, Oceans ringing with whale song. Water slips through cupped hands. Flames jump ridgeline. Tendrils wind underground. The laugh a web. We recognize one another's soul songs. Connect to the love of dry grasses. We don't need to flee. One beak fall. Another gathering flight, snug the belly, be at ease. The canyon ran silent, but for morning's sonic bath. Its soft barring measures powdery red rock. I am with the migration, a longitudinal sigh, my song line. We can love, map our roots, safety in being, medicine everywhere. And the next poem I'll share is in Spanish and English. It's in a chapbook called In the Understory of Her Being. And you can find it here at your favorite library. Number nine. Garter snakes sleep in curled, dewy leaves of night. The end, the beginning of what we both lost. White flannel sheets, sandy, twisted. Binding ankles, thighs, folds of skin and wetness. Hands reach for the clay of mortal shadows, curling instants of fingertips entering. What ground underneath except all ground? Tongues desperate, alabaster's search for the sculptor's wear. Flying through solar systems, moons, blue mountain shadows, to get to you, to this, your slow eyes. Now, here, in this skin, I am afraid of time, of slipping, of the one blade of grass dipping in the moonlight. Nueve. Culebras enrolladas que duermen, hojas rociadas de noche. El final, el comienzo, de lo que ambos perdimos. Sábanas de frenea, arenosas retorcidas, enlazando tobillos, muslos, arrugas de piel y humedad. Manos que alcanzan el barro de sombras mortales, yemas que se meten y se enroscan en el acto, que tierra bajo nosotros, sino toda la tierra. Lenguas desesperadas, alabastro que busca al escritor 
y a su desgaste. Sobrevolando sistemas solares, la luna, sus sombras de montañas azules, para llegar a ti a esto, tus ojos lentos ahora, aquí y en él y en esta piel. Temo a tiempo y a respirar y a la brisna de hierba zamoida en la luz de la luna. Hi, my name is Stith Bennett. I'm a recovering college professor, quality expert, rock musician, and recording studio runner at the moment. For those of us who live at around 9,000 feet and the winters come very short, uh, in the, you know, from the, and even in the summer, you can feel winter coming. So this is the mood of this. August 2nd. It came as mood with strong sunrise wind. This summer day's sky smoothed out as evenly spread conjoined clouds glowing within and unexpectedly dim. Source light so uniform that all surrounds came equivocally forward, flatly illuminated, unpretentiously zen, showing sturdy, dark green leaves blown to hard rustle. Above is clear, piercing radiance, totally internally, reflectively coherent, trapped within moisture molecules, retina-threatening bright white dazzle, below, though, only as imagination. It came as mood with strong sunrise wind, this summer day's sky screamed out its portent of short, of summer's peak days past, of crisp afterlife wind tunnels laced with stings of crystals, of first August yesterdays become last August luster days, of mood hang gliding on monsoons, of familiar foretastes as afterthoughts of having lived this mood before, one tear at a time. This is a short one from a series that I have. It's called uh, Perfect Nonsense, the series is. It's called Upon Glazing at Chroma Clouds. True blue and vivid violet stalked into a star and at once ordered two double shots, hot shots of infrareds. The star sender said, if you can't can my heat, get out of my glitching. All right, you wanna do that? Christine and I have a poem that we wrote together, and this shows the creative process. So, um, well, we wrote it over email, which was kind of fun. Right. So, Stiff sent the, what, first stanza? First section, right. And then I responded in an email with the second and the third, and then he completed the poem and we just put it all together. So, a all new right. kind of love poem. All right, it's called Wet New Moon. New Crescent Moon. Just wet, dripping into headwaters of love creeks. Sonorous hearts thump in icy channels, where chrysalis stones, I rivulets only spring will bear. The honest run through shared arterial warmth, what will carry the wing, carry the wing? Wing, arched, slices air, lifts flying creatures, high above spherical atmospherics. So wet new moon high, 
that slim crescent tips revel as celestial perches. Desiring, reaching, receiving avian soul grace as each three toes grasps milk, milk's ivory satellite honey and each back toe kicks creamy sweetness droplets back earthward. Happy National Poetry Month. Right. <laughs>